good. Ooh. We're here with 2024 lightweight world champion, Mika Galval. Mika, you capped off an absolutely incredible 2024. You won the Europeans, Pans, Brasileros, and the Worlds. <laughs> Tell me how you're feeling just knowing that you've achieved that incredible accomplishment. I feel like I've accomplished everything that I put myself through this year. Uh, even though I didn't plan anything. I wasn't planning on going to Euros, Pan Amps, nor Brasileros. I was mostly focusing maybe on Worlds, but it was still something that I would think about. And when I caught myself, I was already like halfway, almost getting to Worlds, and I was like, yeah, I might be able to do this grand line thing. And it worked, so I'm just super happy. There's a lot of emotions going on through my head. Uh, stuff happened this week, uh, lost some friends. And some friends that were competing today, they didn't get the good, the, the good results, so it's kind of like a mix of emotions. I'm super happy because of the results that I did today, but also kind of sad and down because, you know, you want them to win. It's something that you gotta go through. You, you see them losing, it's like, we're all together in this. And I don't know, it's just, yay, you. <laughs> I wanna talk about your start to the World Championships because yesterday you had some incredible submissions, some transitions that I've never really seen before, <laughs> that, especially the one, uh, the reverse triangle that you set up. I believe that was your second match of the day. Yes, was just the second tell me, match. Tell me about your mindset going into the tournament and what you were thinking as you were setting up some of those crazy submissions. It's crazy because I was, I think, too much in the flow because even though I was like very fluid with the movements, I wasn't actually very aware of anything around. I was just like going. Uh, I wasn't nervous. I wasn't like happy or sad, anything. I was just like connected into the mat with my opponents and stuff were happening. My eyes were cutting the movements at, at the time and I was like, yeah, it happened. Whoa, what happened? <laughs> so I was just very into the moment. I was enjoying every single time that I was able to step into the mat. Since 2022, I wasn't able to. So this year I wanted to take everything that I could and enjoy every single second. Another thing that was interesting is you dropped down to the lightweight division. Your titles at the other major championships came at middleweight. How, how did the weight cut feel? How was your diet? Were you feeling physically 100%? Um, first time I became vegan for this world, so I was trying a new diet and I cut the weight pretty well. I'm not going to lie. I feel like I've done some weight cuts um, when I was heavier and it wasn't as easy. So this one I felt pretty confident with the weight cut, with my strength. I was bench pressing like 140 kilos, like, yeah, man, this feels good. <laughs> so I was like, yeah, this this is uh, 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 my ear, maybe, I was thinking. And, you know, everything went very well. I was expecting not, okay, I'm going to push this through. I was expecting the previous world champ to come because uh, we fought once and I wanted to face him off against him once again, but uh, we weren't able to. And eventually I got the final against Andy again. So I was like, man, this guy is so strong and I got to face him again. It's going to be fun, but come on. <laughs> and I don't, I don't know, it's just funny for me because I have so many tough wars ahead of me. And I fought with Pedro also in the semifinal and Andy in the final. So it's just funny. I think Jiu Jitsu, it's such a, a, a cool thing because you never know the results. A lot of guys that were like favorites, they weren't even able to pass to the second day. So. I'm just amazed how Jiu Jitsu is growing so much every single day and I wanted to take my spot, secure like the title because you never know when there's a guy, another guy coming up after my head because I feel like that's could be coming more and more, you know, <laughs> of a of objective nowadays. <laughs> so let's talk about today, like you mentioned, you face Pedro, you face him at the 2022 Brasileiro, you got a submission, yes. you face Andy. Twice this year, got two submissions, mm -hmm. but these were really tough matches. Pedro and Andy both brought their A games. They yes. both se seemed like they had game plans ready for the matches. So mm -hmm. talk about those matches and just how you feel like those guys have leveled up in their matches with you. So it's cool that uh, I was able to uh, develop my game with both of them. I didn't get a submission in none of the matches, but I was trying to feel the control over the matches throughout the whole time. and. With Pedro, uh, we had kind of like a strategy, okay, I'm gonna pull guard, not because I feel like I couldn't do a takedown stand-up game with him, but I wanted to, let's say, offset Andy a little bit and make him think that I was gonna pull guard again because I did it twice. <laughs> so I was like, yeah, um, I'm gonna pull guard and then see. And Andy was like the same thing. He was trying to brush in there, try to get his game. And in Europeans, he was able to off-bounce me and get on top and I felt a lot of pressure in his pass. I was like, yeah, 
I'm going to try to be on top this time and try to control the game, which worked very well. So both strategies went according to what we fought. Of course, I wanted to get a submission like I always do, but, um, you know, it's world. So you just got to give it your best and feel the, the, the moment. <laughs> so if my math is correct, I believe you had 16 fights in the major championships this year. And 13, 13 submissions. submissions. Yes. Exactly. So really high submission <laughs> percentage, submission rate. Mm -hmm. Tell me just how you're feeling about that. And was that something that was an objective coming into 2024? If I could have gotten like 16 <laughs> out of 16, I would have loved. But uh, it's something that I don't count on a lot. I feel like the submissions are objective. If I'm able to get a submission for me, it's perfect because that's just how I was raised. My dad like always taught me how to uh, 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 do jiu-jitsu on the most precise way like yeah I just want you to go out there and give it your best and for me it, it kind of like takes the glamour off when I don't get the submission it's something bad with me I, I shouldn't think about it but I love the submissions it's something that I'm like yeah I did a goal like in football yeah I did a goal <laughs> <laughs> but it, it's pretty enjoyable when you're able to just perform well feel the the, the, the crowd and you know have a full 10 minute match with someone super tough just like Andy and Pedro Congratulations on all your success in the major Gi Championships in 2024. We really can't wait to see you back out on the match again soon. Part of the fight here and let's go. <laughs>